Uh, Trisha's going to give you a grand tour of our spacious hotel room here in Edinburgh, Scotland. She's never seen anything as spacious as this. This is, this took some getting used to. <laughs> big, I'm a big uh, uh, spoiled American, used to a lot of big uh, uh, holiday in rooms with lots of roomy interior. Now look. Uh, it's almost impossible to get from one side of the bed to the other, so needless to say, if you stay here, you've got to really, really like the person that you're sharing the room with, or as John Luckily said... Luckily we do. Or as John says, you've really, really got to either not care, be 20 years old, um be very flexible, which I didn't feel like yesterday because we were as tired as hell and we stank to high heavens because we just came off of flying from Minnesota to Heathrow and boy did I have a lot to say about that tiny little compartment in the, um, in the plane. I didn't realize that we were sitting for eight hours like our knees were touching the seat in front of us, and I panicked. And we're not very tall people. I, yeah, mm -hmm. I panicked um, because the Delta plane was so tight, but um, all's well that ends well, and that's that. And the second plane was actually a lot more comfortable. It was uh, Virgin, I think it was called, and it was a little bit more comfortable and, of course, a lot less time. Yeah. So, all's well that ends well, but you really have to get rid of your American ideas of big things and lots of things, because I really don't think it's like that here in Scotland. Okay, and I'll just show you the rest of the room. That's it, the hallway from here to the door. We have the necessary room. Um, this is interesting. There's like, you're, never mind. Look at how close it is to the wall. And then a shower. The shower was so good this morning because, as Trisha said, we stomped to high heaven. So that was good. Okay, that's it for now. Bye.